Tesla Model 3 Highland Redesign Taillight Partly Revealed in New Photo The upcoming facelifted Tesla Model 3, also known as Project Highland, has been once again spotted testing on public roads. And this time around it was a white prototype covered with the usual black camouflage. That should fend off prying eyes from everything that's new underneath. However, as it turns out, the photo posted by Ranjit Bhaskar on his Twitter account captured the Model 3 partly showing its left taillight. Confirming what we've seen at the beginning of the month in a separate batch of spy photos. And videos that hinted at a redesign of the rear lights. In other words, it's now a certainty that the refreshed Tesla Model 3 Highland will have new taillights with a vertical amber LED indicator light thus replacing the current horizontal line that's present on both the Model 3 and the Model Y. The Model S-inspired rear diffuser is also partly visible through the black cloth cover, hinting at some possible aerodynamic improvements which could slightly increase the total driving range, especially at high speeds. It's no secret that Tesla is working on an update for its most affordable model. With several spy shots and leaks showing that the Austin-based EV brand is hard at work developing the next variant of the Model 3. Probably the most famous leak of them all is the single photo shared back in April. Which shows a partially uncovered black prototype with all new headlights. Later, aerial footage of the interior revealed that the facelifted Model 3 will probably come with an updated steering wheel as well as similar gear selectors as the Model S and Model X. Last month, during the company's latest shareholder meeting, Elon Musk shared that Tesla is working on two separate new vehicles, without giving any additional details. However, a black silhouette was shown, which looks very similar to the profile of the current Model 3. The second vehicle Musk was probably referring to is the upcoming Cybertruck which is expected to go into production later this year. Source. Reposted and summarized from Yulia Nistrin at Inside EVS. Tesla investment in India becomes more likely after Elon Musk's meeting with Modi. Elon Musk's meeting with India's Prime Minister PM Narendra Modi in New York seemed successful for both parties. During their discussion, Modi pushed for Tesla to make significant investments in India, which Musk seems obliged to do. I am planning to visit India next year, said Elon Musk. I am confident that Tesla will be in India, and we will do so as soon as humanly possible. I am a fan of Modi. Elon Musk added it is quite likely that Tesla make a significant investment in India in the future. PM Modi shared that he talked about various topics with Elon Musk, ranging from energy to spirituality. The Prime Minister invited Musk to India, and the Tesla CEO plans to visit next year. Modi believes Tesla could explore investments in India's electrified transportation and commercial space. Musk stated that India can have a sustainable energy future with solar power, stationary battery packs, and electric vehicles. He is also thinking of bringing SpaceX's Starlink satellite internet service to India. I would like to thank PM Modi for his support, and hopefully, we will be able to announce something in the not-too-distant future," Musk told reporters. Elon Musk also hinted that plans for Tesla in India were never taken off the table. Rumors about Tesla building a gigafactory in India have been spreading for some time now. However, Discussions between Tesla and government officials have been kept under wraps. Earlier this month, though, local government officials stated that a Tesla Gigafactory in India would be offered. Import concessions on the components required for the same. Source. Reposted and summarized from Maria Murano at Teslarati. Tesla's growth ambitions in China clash with oversupply concerns. Tesla has been racking up impressive sales figures in the Chinese market. In the first five months of 2023, the brand sold over 200,000 locally produced cars. 
Much of the success is attributed to Giga Shanghai, which is responsible for half of Tesla's global production. Earlier reports highlighted Tesla's expansion plans in Shanghai to meet increasing global demand. The brand even sought regulatory approval to increase Giga Shanghai's footprint, with a target of increasing powertrain production capacity from 1.25M to 1.75M units annually. The plan also includes adding a new battery line. A new report suggests that Tesla's ambition might have hit a bureaucratic hurdle. China's National Development and Reform Commission NDRC has been skeptical about approving new manufacturing plans due to oversupply and deepening price war concerns. The Austin headquartered brand reportedly wants to convert 70 hectares of former farmland currently covered in wildflowers for its new site. The new location is just 1.9 miles away from the current plant. Tesla increased both retail sales and exports in May 2023. Elon Musk speaks at Tesla's Giga Shanghai. Raves about positive energy. Analysts suggested that Tesla's price cuts in China could lead to small players shutting shop. Tesla can sustain price cuts, but many of its Chinese rivals can't. The China Association of Automobile Manufacturers even asked for an end to the price war. Tesla may want to expand, but from the Chinese government's point of view, they're dealing with excess output. Bill Russo, Shanghai-based CEO of advisory company Automobility told Reuters. In the early days, China needed Tesla to spur growth in EV sales. But now the coin has flipped, as Tesla wants to benefit from lower production costs in China to meet its global demand, he added. Tesla relies heavily on Giga Shanghai for exports to Europe and Asia. Recently, a massive Canada-bound Tesla shipment of Model 3 and Model Y was captured by a drone near the Shanghai port. Lucid Motors and electronic consumer goods maker Xiaomi are also seeking entry into the Chinese EV market. But their chances of getting regulatory permits seem low, according to the report. CEO Elon Musk recently visited Giga Shanghai and also met with top officials in the Chinese government, including Qin Gang, the foreign minister, and Ding Shuixiang, China's vice premier and one of President Xi Jinping's closest aide. Source. Reposted and summarized from Suvrat Kothari at Inside EVS. 224 Tesla Megapack 2XL units to power new Neoan project in Australia. The Australian energy market operator has awarded Neoan a service contract for Western Australia's Southwest Interconnected System. The company uses 224 Tesla Megapack 2XL units to power the Kali battery, sized at 219 megawatts, 877 megawatt hours. Tesla Megapack will be used for 219 megawatts, 877 megawatt hours Kali battery. Neoin has been awarded a 197 megawatts, 4 hour capacity services contract by the Australian energy market operator AEMO. In a competitive tender initiated by the Western Australian Coordinator of Energy, according to a press release, the service will be provided on the 1st. Stage of the 219 megawatts, 877 megawatt hours Kali battery. It will consist of 224 Tesla Megapack 2XL units. The project, started by Neoin in 2021, received development approval for a total of 1 gigawatt, 4 gigawatt hours in December 2022. The battery will be located near the town of Kali, in the country of the Wilman people of the Bibbulmun Nation. In the southwest region of Western Australia WA, it will connect to Western Power's Schatz Terminal Substation, which is part of the Southwest Interconnected System Swiss. A separate network to the one on the eastern coast of Australia. Construction notices have already been sent. Neoin has sent notice to Tesla and construction contractor UGL to begin construction of Phase 1 of the Kali battery.
It is expected to be put into operation in Q4 2024. The battery is Neolin's first major project in Western Australia, as well as the world's first battery with a long life of four hours. The AEMO Non-County Optimized Essential System Services NCESS contract will run for two years from October 1, 2024. It will provide 197 megawatts of storage capacity for four hours, charging during the day and then discharging during the evening peak. The battery is designed to address the risks identified by AEMO associated with the decommissioning of coal-fired power plants. The project will boost local economic growth, the Kali Battery. Will bring significant economic growth to Kali County by creating over 120 construction jobs and opportunities for local suppliers. The project will have an annual benefit sharing program developed jointly with the local community. NEOIN powers Australia's rapid transition to renewable energy. The Kali Battery is the sixth major NEOIN battery in Australia. The company's total storage assets in Australia exceed 1.1 gigawatts including those already in operation or under construction. This further strengthens its position as the leading battery developer, owner, and operator in the country. It already owns and operates the 300 megawatts 450 megawatt hours Victorian Big Battery in Geelong and the 150 megawatts 193. 5 megawatt hours Hornsdale Power Reserve in South Australia, while its 100 megawatts 200 megawatt hours capital battery. 200 megawatts 400 megawatt hours Bliff battery. And 200 megawatts 400 megawatt hours Western Downs battery are all currently under construction. Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. Elon Musk to meet Prime Minister of India. Elon Musk is reported to meet with the Prime Minister of India. Narendra Modi's trip to the United States, during which he will hold dozens of meetings, will last from June 21 to 24. Elon Musk meets Narendra Modi. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi will meet Tesla and SpaceX CEO and Twitter owner Elon Musk during his landmark trip to the US. His visit begins this week. Possible discussion of cooperation with Tesla. The purpose of the meeting between Modi and Musk has not yet been disclosed. However, it comes amid Tesla's recent discussions with the Indian government about the location of the manufacturer's factory in the country. There has been no official word on the talks either, but sources say the Texas-based manufacturer is actively working on an exit plan that could be submitted in three to six months. In addition, Musk recently confirmed that India is a very interesting location for the next Gigafactory. During an interview with the Wall Street Journal, he was asked if Tesla was interested in the Indian market. Musk replied, absolutely. He added that Tesla is likely to determine a location for its factory by the end of this year. The Prime Minister previously met with Musk in 2015. He visited the Tesla factory in Fremont, California. Modi seeks better understanding with the U.S. During the trip, Modi will meet with more than two dozen opinion leaders from various walks of life. In addition to Musk, meetings will be held with astrophysicist and author Neil deGrasse Tyson and Nobel laureate economist Paul Romer, according to Z Business. Other notable personalities Modi is to meet are author Nicholas. Nassim Taleb and investor Ray Dalio. Falu Shah, Jeff Smith, Michael Froman, Daniel Russell, Elbridge Colby, Peter Agra, Stephen Clasco, and Chandrika Tandon, officials said. They stated that the talks will be held to achieve better interaction, understanding of developments in the U.S. and inviting people to cooperate with India among other items on the agenda. Modi is visiting the U.S. from June 21 to 24 at the invitation of U.S. President Joe Biden and First Lady Jill Biden. On June 22, they will host Modi at a state dinner. The visit will also include a speech by the Prime Minister at a joint session of the U.S. Congress on June 22. 
Source. Reposted and summarized from Eva Fox at Tasmanian. Tesla reveals impressive supercharging management tool. By the way of promoting its supercharging network and the navigate with trip planner feature. Tesla revealed a very interesting management tool for the entire charging network. As we can see in the video, and the captured image below. The company developed a very sophisticated solution to present all its charging points in North America. And most likely also in other parts of the world. Through a color code, the operator can quickly see which stations are running fine, and which ones are overloaded or broken. Everything is in real time. A zoom in and one click on a particular charging station will open an additional status window with details related to this particular location. Tesla can easily determine which stalls are faulty, and what is the wait time, and even create a report for service teams. On the right side of the window, there is a general table with stats about the entire network how many stations are occupied at more than 50%, less than 50%, or fully occupied. What are the wait times? Less than 10 minutes, 10 to 20 minutes, more than 20 minutes? Dot. This last option more than 20 minutes is associated with a dark red color, indicating a bad result. The stats include numbers of how many stations have down posts, reduced service, are entirely offline just two, according to the image. Or have connectivity issues, as well as temporary closures and scheduled outages. The map itself, if combined with reports based on history, should allow us to pretty easily determine the weak spots in the network. And prompt the decision to add more stalls or a new station nearby. We guess that such a tool was also very helpful when Tesla applied temporary promotion of free off-peak supercharging hours during holidays. As well as which sites were selected for the non-Tesla EV supercharging pilot program. The Tesla Navigate with Trip Planner, linked to this system, most likely is aware of where to guide a particular car in real time. Depending on the availability of supercharging network. Enter a destination on your touchscreen and Trip Planner will automatically calculate your route with superchargers along the way. Trip Planner considers driving style, elevation, outside temperature, traffic, stall availability and more. Such a system is an advantage of having an in-house charging network. However, we guess that other electric car manufacturers are also improving their navigation systems with each iteration and input from charging networks. Source. Reposted and summarized from Mark Kane at Inside EVS.